Hi, my name is Diane Mintz and I was trained in 2013 by the Stop Stigma Sacramento Speakers Bureau and since then have been honored to speak to thousands of people in the Sacramento area and beyond and part of a amazing group of people who I call my mental health warrior tribe that have helped me and thousands on this journey of stopping the stigma and helping people talk comfortably about mental illness. We have a long way to go, but I have a vision and very encouraged that we are making this subject much more comfortable for people to talk about. Just keep sharing your stories. Um, be open with the family or friend. Uh, you don't need to solve anything. You don't need to solve a problem. You don't need to do anything. But listen, listen to your friend or family member. Be willing to be with them during the hard times. Sit next to them. Again, you don't need to solve a problem, but be willing to maybe help find them that resource. Help them. Be willing to drive them to the hospital if they need that. Be willing to go pick up their prescription if they need that. Be willing to do a load of laundry if that's what they need. If they're struggling with something simple, be willing to, you know, my friends take me to Starbucks when I can't get out of the house on my own. So something as simple as that, just be willing willing to support people. You don't have to do anything anything huge, just be there. Just be there. It's important to look for signs of change in a person's behavior, withdrawal a lot, um, as a lot of it, because we tend to isolate. When something's going wrong in your, in your brain, um, it's hard to communicate what's happening. So if a person has been withdrawn, if their eating habits have changed, if their sleeping habits have changed, if they're talking too fast, too slow, if their spending habits have changed, um, any drastic change. And don't be afraid to ask, especially with uh, suicidal type fears, ask the question. You know, we're, we're afraid of all these things because we haven't talked about it before, but um, getting a person to talk uh, finding somebody who uh, maybe has gone through it that can talk to them because it might not be as comfortable to talk to somebody who hasn't gone through it. Um, but there are plenty of us who have. So even reaching out to somebody from Stop Stigma or NAMI, um, there are, what, one out of five and probably more people who can identify. Well, it's, it's caused me to face challenges that, that I just didn't want to acknowledge and admit. Um, it was very, very hard for me to say, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to put this out. I'm going to do this. It was very, very hard. But there was great benefit in coming forward and starting to do it. And I'm so grateful that I have. I've discovered so many other things, different layers below it. Um, by joining the Speakers Bureau, um, I feel as if I have found a family um, of people who speak my language. Um, you know, we don't get, we don't have very many gatherings where we are all together. I think that there are maybe 80 active speakers or something like that. So we don't see each other very often as a whole group, but um, when I see speakers at different events, it, it could be months since I've, saw, I've seen somebody. and. It feels like I'm seeing a brother or sister. It feels like we're, we just understand each other. We have um, this underlying thing in common. And um, it feels very authentic and real. And it just feels like, it's, I don't, it doesn't matter how much time has gone by. I've got, we've got each other's back. And it just feels, just feels so real. Um, and it helps me, it helps me to know that they're there for me to be able to go out and tell my story. 
because I know that they're out there telling theirs as well. Go, go ask for help. Talk with someone. Um, the, the shame of who might find out is huge. It, it, it keeps us from doing stuff. And if we could just go and say, I need to talk to someone. You don't have to figure out what's wrong in one day. You don't have to fix it in one day. But one step at a time, one thing at a time is what it's all about. Uh, and don't give up. Never give up hope.